as good in your receive as you are in mine, Turbo. Uh, station smoking. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah, no, you sound real good. I went ahead and clicked the gate on for you, so we'll talk a little bit, and then I'll put it on YouTube so you can check out uh, what you're sounding like around my town, man. Oh, mercy. I hope Mother Nature stays in there long enough to maybe get a little, you know, accuracy on those uh, video gate conditions, no doubt about it. I'm going to definitely let you know if I had a uh, video gate capability over here, I'd do the same, but it's kind of hard to tell because when you key up, it just goes all the way over to the red and stays there. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. You're doing some good numbers around town here, too. I don't know what... Uh Shoot, since Mother Nature's kind of changed there just a little while back, everything's got a hit or miss for me. I don't get, uh, I don't get quite the stability I had before, man. I mean, all from October through, oh, what was that? Through March, probably somewhere in there. I had the East Coast, which was about all I had, but East Coast was just laid back in the corner the whole time. I mean, it was like having them on tap like they were down the street. Yeah, Roger, oh, yeah. Uh, you gotta love those pipelines, man. We had that for a while going to Texas. Last night I had the uh, opportunity to listen to Cripple Lizard uh, talking to uh, Lazy Bones. I heard both sides of the conversation and they could also hear me. Just never know that Mother Nature, she's going to do her thing. Yeah, no doubt. It's pretty weird here lately, isn't it? It's nice for me to get to talk the other way, though. There's uh, mo Most of the year I wonder why I even got a rotor on this thing there, Roger. Yeah, I heard that. What kind of beam are you running, man, if you don't mind me being nosy? I'm, I'm, I just bought myself a 60-foot tower, and I'm uh, in the market for that end. I got the rotor, got the controller, just need to figure out what antenna I'm going to do. You know, I him hodding around for the longest time, and then uh, I just went ahead and went with a 104. I run it flat side only because DX is about my only main interest. Still works good enough to talk local, of course, but I'm getting ready to take it down and actually stretch it in... Uh, try some different configurations that I've been working on. But believe it or not, man, this is a bone stock 104 on the flat side, and it, it actually does a fantastic job. I've got a little bit of help. I, I mean, I know my mother uh, my mother nature seems to be pretty good because of my elevation. I've done a lot of playing around in a mobile around here, and my house is at 6,300 feet, and I'm not in the mountains. I'm out on the flats, and that seems to be a pretty good elevation. Once I start going up too much farther, I might hear okay, but you can't transmit that well, and then get down lower, it's just not quite as strong. My antenna is only 32 feet off the ground. Oh, I heard that, man. I'm on a 40-foot push-up pull right now with a bent-over, old, used-up IMAX 2000. But uh, I'm at sea level, dude. I'm South Puget Sound. I don't know if you're familiar with the Northwest, but, uh, yeah, South Puget Sound down here in the mud flats, man. And it's, uh, I don't know, it seems to work pretty good for me having all this water around me. Yeah, I know that's a big deal. A friend of mine, Papa Top, down in Louisiana, he's get, he's surrounded by water, man, and that dude smokes. <laughs> he smokes all the time, dude. Oh, yeah, Papa Top, I've definitely uh, had a couple of good Q-cells with him. Yeah, he's good people, man. Now you're doing a fine job. Mother Nature's certainly working for you now, anyhow. Roger, oh, man, you gotta love it. You gotta use it while it's there. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a five Mako and... Uh, Keeping it on the flat side, because that's really all I like to do, too, is do a lot of uh, long-distance talking that just blows my dress up. But my buddy, uh, my good friend, Jumpin' Bean, he's, he's trying to talk me into doing a six. But either way, I think we're going to be experimenting with that uh, stretching them out trick. Yeah, it works really good, no matter what. I uh, played around with some other friends, and... I mean, you can really make some big differences. I've seen guys even with three elements that uh, they can outperform fives and stuff to that effect. All your rejection and stuff kind of goes straight down the tubes, but your performance as far as gain concerned uh, sure works pretty good. You know, the only piece of advice I'd give anybody with a beam, and, and where I live, I tend to get a lot more. I don't get extremely high winds, but I get a lot of pretty high winds. So uh, depending on what that is for where you live, who knows, you know, but... If you get a lot of high winds, man, then it will require a lot more maintenance, and that just depends on whether you're willing to go that way, Roger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't get too too much weather here. I do get my fair share, but uh, I got some pretty tall evergreen trees around me, uh, hunter-footers that pretty much protect the antenna for the most part, knock on wood. But, hey, let me ask you something, man, because I'm, I'm pretty new at this shit. Uh, when you're messing around with your uh, uh, Mako there, are you are you putting rope in the elements? Yeah, I've, 
done it both ways, man. It was uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt the first time I ever tried putting rope inside of him like it recommends, and then so I didn't. And I figured, you know, ha, huh, whatever. You put it up there, and it takes a very light breeze, and that thing will start to resonate. And and if it does that long enough, it'll put sign in the elements, and then they'll break and fall off. So the last time I took it down after a high wind deal just to check it and realign it and everything, I went ahead and took the time to put them in there. And once the rope's in there, man, it's silent as a mouse. Ron Joe, yeah, see, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, it can be kind of a pain in the butt, really, but... It's time well spent, trust me. <laughs> I tried to cut that corner once, it wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, see, you know, I, I'm, I'm just putting down my notes, you know what I mean? I'm trying to uh, build my file for positives and negatives, being a newbie and all. Yeah, yeah, nope, that's a good one to have right there, man. Ain't no doubt about it. I almost went with a six. I bought everything to go with a six, and then I just decided at the last minute, you know what, I don't know if I want that much surface area up in the area with the kind of wind I get around here once in a while. and. I'll tell you what, I do pretty darn good with this four element around the country, because I don't have a whole lot in the wire, man, and this is what I run all the time, and it does me real good, I really like it, it still has decent rejection, and I don't have that big footprint in the air. If I had more time on my hands, though, I might have a six up there just to try it out. Yeah, five, I heard that, man, I, I'm really strongly leaning against that uh, five element, man, I really am, uh, I think that, uh, I've got a buddy here in town that has a Mako 4, and shit, that thing is seen better than still performs like a son of a bitch, and uh, he swears up and down by it, and it's obviously a good working uh, antenna, so I was thinking, oh hell, you know, why not just give it one more element, and that'll be my, my starting point, and we can go from there. Yeah, I think that's a good one to go with too, man, because as far as money spent and what you receive in the mail, you know, I think that the four and the five are the best, the best dollar value antenna because you can still stretch out a five and turn it into a monster and, and get a lot out of it down the road if you choose. Um, as far as the footprint size is concerned, you probably get the most bang for the buck with a four element, but a five would be a, a really nice balance to have and something you could work with throughout time. Yeah, Rod Joe. Yeah, who knows, man. I, I still am kind of uh, up in the air about it. We've been collecting in, uh, antenna pieces, so we've got quite the pile of aluminum uh, between the two of us. So eventually somewhere is there's, uh, we'll, we'll be figuring it out. Yep. One thing I can promise you, man, is when you stick that bad boy up in the air, it's, it's, it's a trip. You can go over to your friend's house. You can play around, you can see what they can do, and, and blah, 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 but it's just not the same until you're sitting at your own station with what you're used to and all that stuff, and then you actually key down on your own beam, and then the whole world is just, it, it's insane how much different it is. It's the only way to have one in the air if you like to talk DX. Oh, for, yeah, for sure, man. I've had uh, a couple of good old-timer friends of mine that have been in the game a lot longer than me uh, try to convince me that I want to go with uh, one of those uh, vertical and horizontal setups, but, you know, then it comes into that, uh, you know, how much do you want to have up there surface space, and, you know, yeah, I don't know. For what I'm doing, I, I just think I want to go flat side only, man. I, I love talking uh, long distance. Yeah, now see, there's there's another realm too, um, which I should have mentioned if I if I had more time, and if I had to do it again, I'm, I might have a four element cross up there. Um, but locally, and I don't talk locally much. There's there's a few folks around town I enjoy talking with once in a while, and actually, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I I think that gentleman I don't know his numbers, but the guy you were talking to first, I'm pretty sure that's Tiger. He's a good dude, and I, I like talking to him on occasion. Um, and being flat side only really hinders that because I'm quite a ways out of town. I mean, I'm 30 miles from most of those guys, so it'd be nice to have the vertical for that. Yeah, Roger, I've got a uh, ground plane old penetrator that uh, I was using on this push-up pole for a while, and man, that sucker really, really, really works. I took it down and put up this uh, 2000 IMAX just so I can recondition that penetrator. I'm going to put it up on top of a tree and then I'll have Omni and uh, the ability to go flat. Yeah, that'll be nice. I still have my old Omni. I have an old Merlin. It's a really great antenna, but I'm just so far out of town. There is nobody that's close to me at all. <laughs> so to put decent numbers in town, I really need to have the beam, and sometimes I wish I had that vertical just for that. But it's pretty rare that I talk local, so I don't know if it matters a whole lot, but anyway. Yeah, yeah I think our condition
conditions are maybe falling out. What was, uh, what was your website going to be with that uh, video gate? Yeah, they are dropping off some. If you still got a sloppy copy, you can go on YouTube, search Mr. 343 Turbo, bro. I'll have you up there with your name on the gate. All right, 343 Turbo. The pleasure was all mine. Hopefully we can do it another time. 73's around the house there, man. You got 410 lost cars on this side. That way, 410, pleasure's been on this end, man. I'll get this put up on YouTube uh, for you. I don't know if you ever have contact with any of the Good Time gang up there. I don't I don't know exactly where you're talking about. I probably could look it up, but Goldfinger and all them, tell them I said hi. If you bump it down with them, 410, your Turbo Round Denver is gone. All right, Turbo, yeah, we're going to be having a, a real good uh, modulator CB break this summer. Prime Minister and all those guys. And I'm sure I'll be bumping elbows with them. I'll definitely pass the nickel. Turbo 343, the pleasure was all mine. Lost cause with the wave, and we're gone. Right on, man. Check, check. Hey, how about that 343 out there? Out there in Colorado, the old Iceman, Oregon, we're trying. What's going on there, Iceman? You got Turbo right around Denver, right back. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice day out here, too. It's a little warmer than I want it to be, ain't no doubt about that, but uh, can't complain any old way, right? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely bitch about it, but <clears throat> it may not get you anywhere there, Roger. said there, you're right, you can complain about it all you want, but it just might not get you anywhere. Appreciate the bump down, man. I'm going to go ahead and click this thing off and slide out of there. If you heard what I was telling, 0410 Lost Cause there, you can go on YouTube, uh, search Mr. 343 Turbo, and there'll be a little bit of you at the end of the same gate. I'll have your name up there with 410s. Y'all take care up there on the uh, northwest side. It's really nice to be able to talk that way. Turbo down here right around Denver, getting on down. You take care out that way, bud. I got your website. Yeah, look forward to it, man. I need to I need to come check on the room once in a while. Like I was telling the 410, usually we had a pipeline there for quite a while to the east, so all I had to do was walk by the room once in a while to see if there was anything in there or not. Now I just need to actually key down because it's crazy. There's actually stuff in there, but no one's talking. Yeah, that's pretty wild, man. Hey, 410, I thought I heard you say you had the site pulled up or something like that, right? Nah, I might be dropping out. Well, 133, you take care. I heard another station hollering me out there, but uh, you're just underneath them other folks out there, so we're waving at you. Turbo 343 right around Denver cruising, getting on down. Well, you came in stronger that time, 601. I got a copy on you, man. Moon Ranker 4, I'm trying to hook back up again. Got a little work to do. I can't wait. I'm running off a little ground plane on top of that. I'm going to take it out of there so I don't have no problems with my SWRs on the beam. You know what I mean? Yeah, 410, man. Well, that'd be cool when you get her all squared back away, right? Yeah, no doubt. I actually hooked the wrong.
motor. I've hooked, had it hooked up for about 15 years. I finally got my radio stuffed out of the closet, dusted off. Got a little work to do on the beamage, but I definitely can't wait because this uh, little ground plane don't quite cut it. <laughs> yeah, when the conditions are just right, they can be a lot of fun when it comes to this, but the most of the time there, it's just, just, just a little short there, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt. I used to be able to talk to Australia when I hear the skip coming in and off the ground plane just can't do it. Yeah, I know what you mean there, man. On all side band there for a little while in the early evenings, they were coming in pretty steady here. Yeah, no doubt. You have a real good sound of station. I was just listening to you out there, and uh, man, I was sitting in the other room listening to you. Oh, shoot. Well, I appreciate the flowers, man. I really do. Oh, thank you. I like people who uh, give out the information on the radio to other people uh, just starting out, no doubt. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about, my friend. That, uh, I certainly don't know it all, that's for sure. As we all know, you're learning every day, you know, and plenty of other folks have uh, dipped into their bag of knowledge to get me to where I'm at so far, and I constantly bug a few more for more stuff. So everything we can do to get everyone going better, that's the way it ought to be. It's out here to everybody meet new people and have a good time. Roger? Yeah, no doubt about it. That one fellow you're talking to is way down south from me. I'm up in the mountain, kind of in the foothills of the county. Uh, about 35 miles east of Seattle. I'm about a, uh, probably about a thousand feet. And my handle up there is Mountain Goat, and I'm 601, and it's a Paul Washington. All right on, man. Well, I think it was about a year, well, it was over the winter. Well, it was actually one year ago this past New Year's I was up that way. I can't remember the name of that dog on town when I left Seattle and went straight back east and then up and over that pass. A really pretty town at the base of that pass. What was that? Yeah, that's in the Quah. And then it goes the North Bend and up to, you know, Falls City up through that up I-90. So it's a pretty nice area. You know, we got to and bears and deer coming in the yard, mess with my horses. Oh, too cool there, mountain goat. Well, you got beautiful country up there, man. I envy it. I grew up in the mountains around here, so I've I've been in beautiful country before, but every time I make it to the northwest corner, there's just something about that area. I really love it up there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I'd love to be in the area here, and uh, I love fly fishing, and it don't open up until the day after my birthday, June 2nd. So I'm going to catch me some big trout on some homemade tide flies. Oh, right on, man. Well, you take it easy up that way. Pleasure's been on this end there, 601. I appreciate you getting back. Um, I don't know if you heard those guys. I got a video gate rolling there so you can see if you like how you sound or how you look right around Denver, man. It's on YouTube, Mr. 343 Turbo. I'm going to upload it now. I need to roll out of here and get a few things done, but I appreciate your time. 601, your 343 Turbo in Denver is gone. Super fine one out there. Good sound of station. Just before you go, I, I thought you might want to know, you still got a pipeline up here in the northwest corner. I'm back in Denver, no doubt about it. Turbo, you have a super fine one. May God bless. Maybe the last. Right on, 601, yep. Check, check, bump, bump, and uh, 410, I did hear you in there. Appreciate it, man. You're definitely smoking around here, too. I'm going to cut this off and get her uploaded. Appreciate it, QSO, with all you good people up there in the northwest corner. When you hit that break, say hi to everybody for me. Turbo right around Denver's gone.